friends, welcome back. Yes, we're back in town, not in Hawaii. I had wished to film this little intro for our souvenirs in Hawaii, but we utilized every minute we could on the islands instead of me taking the extra time to film an intro. We're not gonna waste time. Come along, I'm gonna show you what we got as souvenirs. We do it a little bit different now. We've been to the islands a few times now, so we're not getting the same usual things like at the ABC store. We're, we're spending a little bit money, more money per item. It's a little bit more quality and they last a little bit longer. But we also kind of get the basics as well. So let me come and show you all the things that we got on the big island from our recent trip. And then make sure you stick around because I still have more Hawaii videos. I'm kind of addicted to making them, so we're not done yet. Let's go and check out what we got. All right, we are going to jump right in. And I'm, again, I'm sorry I'm not able to do this. While we're in Hawaii, just got really busy at the end of the day. So we're just gonna do it from here at home and try and bring the Aloha spirit back to Washington, <laughs> back into our home. All right, we're gonna start, let's start with the food. The food is right down the center here. We'll work our way to the back. So whenever we go to Hawaii, we don't drink coffee. And so we always just bring the coffee packets home to give these to our friends. And then we usually end up getting a pack or two of coffee to give to friends as well. So this one is going to our employee and this one is going to Kaylee's boyfriend's mom who ironically booked a trip to Hawaii while we were in Hawaii and is now in Hawaii herself. <laughs> so she could have gotten some but that's okay we didn't know that at the time we wanted to get her a, a packet of coffee. So then we also got our employee a bottle of spice rub. I don't remember the names of some of these stores but we got this for her as well as some ground cinnamon. If you have not seen our tour of OK farms you need to go watch that and you need to go and book a tour because it was absolutely fantastic this is right off the tree this is cinnamon right off of the tree <laughs> I cannot wait to try this, but it smells absolutely amazing. So much so that I got one for myself. And then of course you have to get the chocolate macadamia nut little treats. We got a three pack for three of our friends for game night. And then we got three of the larger packs to give to our employees. Some might think it's kind of crazy to get high chews in Hawaii, but they do not make pineapple high chews here in the lower states. <laughs> So I bought two 18 packs of the high chews. One of the packs is meant for the kids to give each of them, each of their friends a little pack. And then we'll have these ones to snack on both for our game night friends, as well as just our family just to munch on them. Then I also picked up these little tins of mints. I mean, if that doesn't scream something that I, <laughs> I would like to have. Anyway, I think they're so cute and I can refill them with regular mints if I want to, just because I really like the tin. Then back here, this is also from OK Farm. This is fresh chocolate from their cacao farm. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is so, so, so good. If you haven't tried chocolate after scent, smelling the scents and being on their farm and smelling the flowers, it's like a whole new experience. So highly recommend going to a chocolate tour when you're in Hawaii. Then we picked these up at Costco. You guys, let me show you how big these things are. I mean, look at that. It's the entire piece of pineapple inside there, you guys. It's not just ground up. It's not like pineapple flavor. It's the actual chunk of pineapple. They're actually really hard to eat <laughs> because you can't like bite into them very well because it is kind of like a dried piece of pineapple in there. It's worth the effort. I, I guarantee you it's worth the effort. All right, then we're gonna go to this little guy right here. This is a little coconut diffuser that I can put into my car. I mean, how cute is that gonna be hanging from my little mirror? So I got the Waikiki Pina Colada scent and the Hawaiian Lei scent. She said you might as well get a, a refill on it because you're going to fall in love with it and then you're not going to come back to Hawaii for a year. She knew we were coming back in a year. So she's like, you're going to need a refill. So I am so excited to try these and see how they smell because I probably will buy, buy a lot more of them next year if we find them again. Then starting over here, we always pick up stickers. <laughs> we have a friend from our game night that grew up in Maui and he loves to collect stickers in general for his cars and he has a new truck and so we decided to get him a new sticker, Rip Curl. And then this one came with one of our packages and I just find it kind of funny. So I just thought those ones were fun ones to add to his collection. So we'll give those to him this week. Now, this swimsuit of Jason's. <laughs> 
<laughs> this guy is so funny. He picked this swimsuit up in three different stores on three different days and kept talking about it, but would not buy it until the last day. And I was like, Jason, you keep picking up this cute swimsuit. Why don't you just get it? And he's like, oh, I just feel bad. I want the kids to have something. And so I finally said, they've, they've got enough and there's more money. It's okay. Go ahead and get yourself something. And this is very useful. He will love using these. And I'm very excited that he found something useful outside of like, just like, you know, your general like Hawaii t-shirt kind of a thing bucket hats. My younger girls were obsessed with bucket hats. I don't know if it's a thing right now, but they went from store to store to store and looked for bucket hats. Actually just got home and gave me this one because she worked at school. You guys, they wanted bucket hats like crazy. So we went ahead and got some. This one is Chelsea's. This one is Ashley's. This one is Ashley's. And unfortunately, this one is mine and I too found it on our last day. I had been wanting something to cover my eyes and the back of my neck and my ears from getting sunburned and I found it on the last day. I actually found it a couple days before and it just didn't occur to me to get it for myself. I kept asking if Chelsea or Ashley wanted it and so I didn't pick it up until the very last day. So I will be able to use this for beach days this summer and then again on our trips in the future. Okay, I have to tell you a story about this um, cute little jacket of Chelsea's. Poor girl got sick on our trip. If you have not watched our vlogs, go back and watch them because Chelsea got sick halfway through our trip and wasn't able to go on some of our activities and just wasn't feeling very well and she wasn't able to go and shop and kind of pick out all the different things that the other kids did. And while I kept telling her in the beginning when she found this sweater that it was maybe too much money, by the time we got done with the trip, I felt so bad that she hadn't gotten something yet because she hadn't been shopping with us because she was sick, but also because she had had part of her trip ruined. So mom was a sucker and mom spent a little too much money, but we are learning in general, you'll see on Abby's stuff, we're starting to get things that are not necessarily like your normal Hawaii um, souvenirs. We're not getting the standard t-shirts from the ABC stores and some of the little boutiques and stuff. We're getting better quality stuff that make, that reminds us of Hawaii and our time there. And so I just figured, you know what, let's just do that for Chelsea because she had a hard trip and she deserved to take something home and this looks so cute on her. I'll show you pictures of it when she finally put it on because she just is so cute. Speaking of ABC stores, that's where I got my bag because I don't mind sometimes to get a kind of tacky cheesy Hawaiian you know beach bag. I think it's super cute. Is it functional? Yes it's fantastic and I used it for half of our trip and it was quite nice to have it for my dry clothes. I tended to put my swim covers and my towel and like even my hat when I got my hat, right? I put dry things in here so that they didn't get wet from my other bag. Okay, so this guy is just here for like props. <laughs> I got this last year in Maui. You're gonna have to go check out my other souvenir videos. I will link them down below. This this is my absolute favorite shop where I got this little rainbow from. But it comes with the idea of, I love the wood frame and the wood product that you can get in Hawaii. And I wanted a nice neutral frame to go onto our shelf. And I'm gonna put a really bright right picture of us at the Lava Lava Beach Club. All of us were so cute. And so I'm gonna put that into that picture frame and put it onto our shelf. Okay, so Ashley got these cute little wish bracelets and I'm gonna let her explain them because it's just so cute. And she actually was able to give them to her friends today. So let me go and show you how she picked them out at the store and then come right back. So we found this cute little jewelry store. You wanna show me your idea for your friends? So it says close your eyes and make a wish then tie the bracelet on your wrist. When the bracelet breaks into two, the wish you made might just come true. And she got three turtle ones in three different colors. And it's for you and your two friends. Yeah. That's One cute. of the traditions that we've had is to pick up these little pins and we put them on our little travel board upstairs. And these are the two cutest ones that I have never seen before. A little shaka hand and this cute aloha rainbow. I'm obviously in love with rainbows. And so I picked these two up. Okay, so I only have my old, second oldest clothes because my oldest, I don't know, she must have worn her sweatshirt. I'm not quite sure where her stuff is. But Abby was able to find this cute um, hat from the Honolulu store. And then she also got this um, sweatshirt. This is just from a little vendor store right in Kona, right in Kailua, Kona, um, right across the street from Huggos. So I just thought that was a really cute sweatshirt for her to get. Kind of has like a little billabong, you know, kind of vibe to it. Speaking of billabong, you, she loves this store. She really does. And she bought this tank top herself. She had money to spend and I just absolutely think it's adorable. And you can see she loves this tropical vibe in her clothes. I was 
able to get her this t-shirt as well. Um, it was one of the first ones that we picked out um, before she bought herself the sweatshirt and the tank top. And then she also found these pants and I got these from, for her as well because she wants to wear pants to church now. And these are gonna be perfect for the spring and the summer and they're just like, they're so cute on her. And she's just gonna wear a white shirt when she goes to church. But then if she's like wearing them to go out to a nice dinner or an event or something, then she can put a, a tank top or a t-shirt with it. So I think that's it. There were a few more things that my oldest got. A pretty similar sweatshirt to this one. And then I think she got a few more trinkets. She did get a, a shirt for her boyfriend at Costco. She wore it like every day. So we made her go back and buy another one so that he had a, a fresh, clean, new one. So we ended up getting two of those from Costco. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this little haul. Take care. And I do still have some Hawaii videos coming up. So don't, don't leave, you know, don't leave. We'll come back for more Hawaii videos.